let's see if I enable the script here it's gonna give you 99 and I'm gonna explain how to make how how I made this this uh, this script I'm gonna try to um, explain as much as I can so at first I thought yeah, this is gonna be really easy. Uh, just uh, look at the the health, the 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 current value that holds your consumables, and then see what writes to it and modify that instruction, and you'll you'll be good. It's gonna be really easy, but it turns out it's not that easy. So when we go and look at ha what instruction that writes to this address, which is the Estes flask, this instruction here. This instruction either increases, decreases, uh, either does two things, either increase or decrease, depending on the, the code. When when you set up the bonfire, it's going to run and it's going to increase your Estus, put it to the maximum. And when you use the, the Estus, it's going to run again, see, it's, it ran two times, and it's going to decrease your Estus. So, uh, I was thinking, just go here, showing the disassembler go inside of here and go to tools auto assemble template AOB injection the same stuff that you can do but turns out when you add this 99 put 99 it's gonna put 99 it's gonna do whatever it want it to do but there is one thing when you have one item in your inventory like this leave we'll keep one all right so now instead of putting 99 instead of putting 99 it's gonna drop it it's gonna just completely disable the 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 item see the item will disappear but when you use other items that that are not at one they they'll give you 99 See, I used the, the knives, it was 6 and gave me 99. So, the, the problem was, is that the game, when you have one in your inventory, one item in your inventory, and you use it, it's gonna obviously disappear for your, from your um, inventory. So, I didn't keep that in mind. And when the, the instruction runs, it's gonna delete the item, even though I write 99 instead of 1, but the other instructions are running at the same time. So the game expect expects to uh, the value of the item to go to zero and then it's gonna drop the item from your inventory I tested that on the Estes flask and it turns out that the Estes flask doesn't disappear when you <laughs> when you use it completely so you let's use the Estes flasks 19 18 times and okay, let's make it faster one all right so when I use it, the Estes flask stays in my inventory because if if it was to disappear, you'll not have Estes flask. So the game doesn't run the same code for the Estes. Now let's go back to the item consumable. There's the address for the consumable. Now when I go and find out what writes to this address, we're gonna see the same instruction runs. See, it's the same instruction. The same instruction runs. Where is that? Do I have another one? No. Let's use the Estes. Uh. Okay. Whatever. When we set at the bonfire, it's the game. The the same instruction will run. All right. The same is instruction ran here, and it gave us the the Estes. All right. So. There, when you use an item other than the Estus and you drop it to one and then drop it to one use that and then see this instruction here this is the this is an instruction that runs when 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 the the item disappear disappears so I said yeah let's go here it's okay let's just go to the disassembler All right, let's go to the disassembler. We're gonna disable this instruction, and then we're gonna inject it in the same code. See, I did code one. I did that same same code that we did before. Uh, we moved 99 inside of our current uh, 
current <coughs> uh, consumable address and in the code 2 we inject it again in this location here and then I have disabled the instruction knob 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 eight times one two three four five six seven eight if you are asking yourself how how my why am I knobbing eight times one two three four five six seven eight eight bytes you need to disable all of these bytes so the code disables so we disabled all of these and when we enable the script here when we enable the script all right um let's drop this to one okay where is that give me that shit all right let's drop it to one now if i enable the script Still the same thing happens. The same thing happens. And the game crashed. <laughs> okay, the game crashed also. So, there is clearly something wrong here. Yep, I did not... I did not overwrite that. No, I did not save that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, save. Not save as. Save. Say okay. Yes. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back to the game. <coughs> All right. Uh, sorry, I did not. I was. I wrote. I wrote return here instead of knobbing. That's why the game crashed. So now again, when we enable the script. Yes, yes. When we enable the script, it's gonna also um, decrease our consumable. But then again, we, we when we looked at it, the same instruction was modifying our code. So that means there is another instruction behind this instruction is calling to this instruction to uh, make make. Uh, make the, 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 the adjustment and remove the item. So, if this instruction doesn't work, we're gonna have to go back inside of the uh, game's um, instruction, uh, instruction structure and look at what happens before this instruction. So how do we do that? It's really easy. Go to breakpoint trace. All right, and then uh, I'm gonna enable step over instead of single step. And then when I say okay, all right, so now let's get the item. What? So, seriously? Whatever. Let's drop another item. Uh, let's drop another item. Okay, the game has. Uh, I thought the game has crashed. Okay, there, there it is. Leave. All right. So now when, when we leave that. Did I not enable the script? Ah, there it is. See? When I leave the item, it's gonna disappear from my inventory. And this this instruction will run. This this is the instruction that we're looking at. Let's go to the disassembler. This instruction <coughs> is what we are looking at. Here. And over it, when you go up up the instructions line you're gonna find this this function here this is all a function that calls to this thing all right so when we go here and there is another call that calls to this function all right so if we disable this call um, disable this code re 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 replace with the code that does nothing all right and now, when I pick up the item and keep all of this stuff here, now when I enable my script, I have one here, but when I use that, 
it's gonna give me 99. So, this instruction will not be called to. This instruction will not be called to. This instruction here will not be called to either. Because this call before the instruction has been disabled. Alright, before the instruction, this, this will, will be disabled. So, <clears throat> this is how you do this stuff. Sometimes you, you'll not know what's happening, but you need to stay calm and think logically. If, if something doesn't work, don't assume it immediately doesn't work. Just try to look backwards, see what happens before that instruction, and you'll find some solutions. Uh, you'll have to be thinking critically when you start um, modding games, doing this stuff. So, um, now let's write the, the final code. Let's write the final code from the beginning. I'm going to show you guys how to fight, how to write that. Okay, so we're gonna go to the first instruction. Uh, okay, the first instruction that modifies our code, which is this one. Here. Did I exit that? Yeah, I did. Because I'm a stupid asshole. Alright, um, so we're gonna go to the disassembler. We're gonna inject here. Auto assemble template. AOB injection, say okay, and then say okay. Alright. And then, uh, let me delete this. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, now, first of all, we're gonna give us 99... 99... Uh, 99 consumables. File. Assign to current cheat table. We're gonna put it here. Gonna rename it. Uh, script. New. Okay, new script. And then after that, we're gonna go to the instruction that, that goes, that disables our, uh, removes the, the, the item from our inventory. So, let's use that. There it is. This instruction here that runs. Okay, they, they both run, because this will drop the, the number and this will remove the item. So, show in the disassembler. And now we're gonna backtrace. Uh, backtrace so we can find the other instruction. Alrighty. <coughs> um, p -p 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 Give me that. And leave. Okay, see when I leave all the items, the instructions pop up. And then we're gonna expand all. Now, under this one, it's gonna be this one. We're gonna double click on it. It's gonna appear in the... In here. Now, we're gonna disable this call. How many bytes do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Each... Every two characters resembles one byte. Alright, so, now... One, two... Three, four, five. Tools. Auto assemble. Template. AOB injection. Say okay. Say okay. And then now we're gonna disable the the call. Disable the call that calls to that instruction that removes the item from our inventory. So now one, two, three, four, five. File. Don't file. We're gonna instead of making two two mods two instructions, I mean, two scripts at the same time, we're gonna copy this script, we're gonna copy this script inside of the other script. Alright, um, uh, could you please copy that? Could you please copy that? Thank you. Before the disable, we copy everything between the enable and the disable. We're gonna go here, in the new script, um... All right, now we... Let me create a header for that. Code 2. This will be code 1. Code 1. Okay, so it's gonna be organized. Now we're gonna paste code 2. All right, now we're gonna put every... In, in front of each one of these labels, 2. So it differentiates between the two codes. All right, so 2. 
2, code 2, return 2, new mem 2, code 2, return 2, inject 2, new mem 2, return 2, inject 2. All right, now we we want to disable the the code after we 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 enable this. It's going to only disable the one code because we have we haven't um, copied the other disable. So we're going to copy this from here to this code here. All righty. And then we're going to call it too because uh let's comment the disable one Disable two. Now, let me separate them for a little bit. See? Now we just inject the code w one, give us infinite consumables, and then after that, we're gonna disable the instruction that calls to our item so it doesn't get uh, consumed and, and, and lost. And then after that, we're gonna disable the code when we finish and disable the other code. So, I think that works, so we're gonna say OK, because we have already saved it here. And then now, when we enable the script, now it gives us 99 in everything. And even, w and even when you want to drop an item, instead of dropping it, it's gonna give you 99. Let's drop them all. So it gives you 99. Um, did I drop it? Yeah. <laughs> it duplicates them even. Um, now let's see, let's test it on the coin. The rusted coin. Use it once. Okay, now it's one. Now let's d enable the code. Alright, after that, we're gonna use it once. And it gives us 99 instead of uh, in a disabling the script. Uh, this, uh, d instead of it consuming the item. So that is it. How that is how to do this. Uh, you have to think critically. You have to think uh, out of the box. And that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to tune in next time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.